friends I'm here to show you guys my um, Trader Joe's and Costco haul I have not done um, one of these hauls with you guys in a couple of months and I only like to do it with you guys when I've, I've done like one big um, shopping spree of food and to be honest like throughout the summer it's just been little here little there um, and stuff but I wanted to share this with you guys because I know people ask when I'm gonna do my next Trader Joe's hauls and Costco haul so here here we go all right, as far as um, this one is Costco, and as far as Costco goes, I always, um, I do always have my go-tos, and I always tend to to reach for that. But also, um, when they have their coupons, is when I do try out like the new things that, that I would not normally buy because one, it's a bit pricey for me. I'm a, I have a family of six, I have four kids, and I tend to just get food that I know that my kids will eat. So. So after all these years of trial and error for my kids and my family, I just basically just go and buy the foods that I know that they like or I know that they're willing to, um, to try out. So with Costco, I actually like to buy my, um, my lettuce this way at Costco as far as even for salads or sandwiches because I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to go back and forth, but I'm going to show you um, this one I bought like maybe two days ago, two or three days ago when I did a little shopping over at um, um, Trader Joe's. But already I feel like um, within two days, the, it's starting to, to welt and stuff. And so that's why I, I like to get these over at Costco. This is like $3.99 or $3.49. But these last actually a long time. They last between a week to a week and a half if I really take care of it and seal it really well. To this to where like within two days, um, it doesn't, it's, to me it's not um, as appealing as a fresh one. So, but I still buy these, you know, when I know that I need something um, just for the night or the next day. So I got that. And then I like these um uh fully cooked mini wontons chicken cilantro i fry it just is um and then we make the dipping sauce that has a recipe on the back that's really really good but also you can add, add it onto uh fried rice i also add um add it onto soups uh wonton salad or soups or wonton and rice and all that stuff so it's really um for the price it's it has a lot and it's really um it tastes really well Flautas. The kids love the, the flautas over at Costco. And I think this is like $9. So what I do is I just, um, I cut it and then I freeze it or one, I refrigerate it with, if I know that I'm going to cook it for the kids within a few days or so. And I like to get the cheese, Mexican blend cheese over at Costco. I want to say this is roughly about $7. Um, two packages, they separate it now, which is really nice. Before it used to just come in one huge bag. So it's nice that it's separated. I like to get these breads, um, sandwich rolls over at Costco because with this, um, we can make sandwiches out of it or I can put it into the oven and make um, like um, melts or um, what sometimes I've done is put like luncheon meat, put it into the oven like the luncheon meats from Trader Joe's, um, cheese or like these cheese. And then I also use like the um, bell peppers or artichokes or what have you and then I'll put it in there and I'll gather all the ingredients together place it in the oven but it's also good for sandwiches for the kids and I tend to use this more than just a regular bread I think it's more versatile so this one I think it's only like three dollars three or four dollars around there at Costco I got some strawberries and these were only like $3.99 but when I buy my fruits at Costco, especially the strawberries, I tend to put them um, upside down because they Costco um, Costco just sells so much stuff and especially with fruits. Um, I tend to not buy so much of the fruits there because they all ripen at the same time like avocados and apples and peaches and all that stuff I buy. Um, I as long as I know that the kids will eat it then I buy that and then um, but I don't try to stock up too much because they tend to just go bad pretty fast when I buy it at Costco um, eggs $3.99 I use this for my baking um, and stuff so it's really nice and then okay rotisserie chicken every time I come to Costco I tend to gravitate to the rotisserie chicken because it is so versatile. You can put it anywhere. You can add it onto the wonton if I'm making soups or even fried rice. You can, um, I, what I like to do is like pre-shred it, 
as soon as I get it, like pre-shred it, instead of putting the whole thing in the fridge, it's nice to pre-shred it, um, everything, separate the dark and the white meat, and then also with the carcass, then go ahead and put that into boiling water, and there you go, you have your own homemade um, chicken broth, and then I'll put that into the containers. I save my to go containers that I order from like pho because they give me these nice containers that's really deep and then I put my chicken broth in there out of one I could make easily like three servings of um, chicken broth so that's really nice but I, I go to the rotisserie chicken from Costco because for $4.99 it's huge it's, it's really nice compared to like $7.99 that you can buy over at Safeway or Albertson at the grocery store and it's not um, as um, as tasty okay Got that. Like I said, $4.99. This one, go to also at Costco. I believe it's like $5. I'm not sure, but it's a lot in here. Two separate package for 20 count each of the tortilla. Then you have the cheese. Then you have this. Then you have the chicken. And then you have um, the stuff that I have here of like the, the bell peppers and then the salsa over there. There you go. You got yourself a great um, quick meal for the kids that they can put together themselves, especially my big ones. Fish sticks. Oh, fish sticks at Costco are currently on sale until like the 24th of September. I bought this for $7.99. And I've already have one in the fridge. It's almost gone. So I figured I'd um, have another one to stock up from the fridge downstairs or the freezer. There's 60 of them. The kids love this except for Danielle because she's allergic. And then this one is Pirate's Booty. This one is the Age White Cheddar. Really cheap. Three bucks. It's on sale again. So I went ahead and tried that. And then here, I forgot to show you this, the Stir Fry. It's going to be a long video, but um, vegetable stir fry. This is perfect at Costco. It wasn't on sale, but I, I like to get this. And it has everything in here for um, vegetable blend. This is perfect when I get my um, yakisoba, fresh yakisoba noodles. Or you can use spaghetti noodles or whatever, whatever pasta noodles you may want. Add some teriyaki sauce in here. Add some... Uh, some of this from Costco, which is the, the ginger. It's a Japanese dressing. I'm um, just switching cards, so I, I don't know where it cut off, but I'm gonna go back to um, to this one right here. Costco just recently got this. This is um, the cinnamon French toast sticks for $7. Figured it's nice for the kids to just pop, in, pop it into the toaster or the oven. And then this one is currently on sale, croissant, sausage, egg, and cheese. I believe this was, um, Gosh, normally I want to say $10.99 or $8.99. I think it was like 2 or $3 off. And then I love this for, um, for hubby and the kids and I. And this is the Tokyo style shoyu ramen with chicken. I believe this was like $13 um, somewhere there. But there is, I want to say six. There's six of them. So if you break it down, it's basically $2 a bowl. And it's a pretty big size bowl. Very flavorful. I'm very sad. Um, happy and satisfied with this uh the taste of it per se as far as a, um, a tv a tv dinner so totally worth it got me some organic milk um two percent got water go to my <laughs> i love to get water over at costco because this is what how many count 40 count for 2.99 you cannot beat it ramen was on sale i don't normally buy this lot a lot of ramen but you know what it um just in case something happens that's why i always have to have i always have a lot of water um two or three of these um in the garage plenty ramen plenty because if something happens to our power goes out then we have a little portable stove then there's something to feed the kids as far as this this is um this is why i seldom go to the grocery store but i do like i do go to the grocery store i have two grocery stores near me and if i need something you know pretty simple um, I'm out of a, an ingredient or something. Of course I go there. It's not like I don't go there. I'm not promoting that. But what I'm promoting is the fact that this huge bag at Costco is $5.99. This one was $6. But I had to get it because why I didn't have time to be able to go to Costco that day or be able to go to Trader Joe's to a more flavorful meal than something like this. And then I figured like, you know, I have to have it. So this is what I'm promoting with, with the fact that, you know, Costco and Trader Joe's, they're very good quality for the price that you pay. Got that. And then when I make my macarons, I do get my almond flour over at Costco. Again, this is like 12 something. And this lasts me a lot, um, like a couple of months. Constantly, last year I constantly made macarons, but I'm actually really um, macaroned out.
okay and i like to buy my ground beef over at the commissary um commissary but i do like to buy the one over at costco of the um, organic this is 19.99 for three pieces but as you guys can see i don't have any meat here and if you're if you're wondering why it's because um we're in the military my husband's in the military and I buy a lot of my meat. I stock up on meat downstairs into my freezer with meat from the commissary. It's a lot cheaper for me um, to buy that. And then once I have that, then basically these stuff from um, especially Trader Joe's is just an added on to what I already have as far as my protein. So let me just finish up Costco before I move on to my Trader Joe's. Kimchi, I've never tried this. So I wanted to try it. A friend of mine, mine um, yesterday, we went to a party and she said that her mom bought um, organic kimchi over at Costco and it tasted really, really good. So kimchi is good for like grilled chicken or grilled um, meat. Um, you grill it and then you add, you know, you add the kimchi onto it along with your rice. It is so good. And then um, I don't really buy a lot of spam, but when I do, it's because it's on sale. I think this was like $4 off. It was really affordable. There's a lot of spam in there from Costco, but it had a coupon, so I wanted to try it out. And then also um, Costco had this coupon right here of the Bertolo, Bertoli. Is it organic olive oil, basil, and garlic um, marinara sauce? That's perfect for the... Um, uh, spaghetti or noodles or pastas or what have you um figured give that a try and then also this one as i mentioned earlier this is the tanto ginger japanese dressing and marinade um this was six dollars so i wanted to give this a try as far as like it says dressing and marinade adding it on i love um i love uh experimenting with new um ingredients and stuff like that i love japanese cuisine so i wanted to give that a try i think that's all i have as far as costco so i'm, I'm gonna move on now to okay, trader joe's so fall is here we have fallen i love fall fall is one of my favorite seasons and so trader joe's has this new pumpkin spice scone mix maple flavored icing as well just add water that's the thing that i love about these things from trader joe's these box um desserts or meals like this just like this one um you guys seem, have seen me um haul this before this is the toasted coconut pancake just add water just add water but with this one this was like i think three dollars and pumpkin spice scone so i figured i'd give it a try really worth the price and then this one is the toasted coconut pancake mix it says add water it's perfectly fine but you know what i add a little bit of milk to it or cream or whatever i have plenty of so that it um it adds more flavor to it so the kids really like that and you know what i don't even do this for um for breakfast i do this as an after school snack and the kids go to this and they don't even need to put any syrup or whatever they just you know hold it with their hands and then they're munching on it as if it's just a regular snack butter at trader joe's so affordable if i went i had i wanted to bake cookies the other day and i went to my grocery store and um and the butter itself was like four dollars five dollars for butter and i'm like oh, i really need it but you know what? i didn't buy it for why you know i didn't buy it because you know it's just for that price at that particular grocery store was like wow because i know at trader joe's this is 2.99 so they have unsalted and um and salted and they're both the same price of 2.99 and then here's the um just some pastas a lot of the pastas dried up pastas are trader joe's is like a dollar 99 cents or a dollar you can't beat it but this is perfect for that and then the rotisserie chicken and then the the shredded chicken and then there you go with also bell peppers you've got yourself a great meal so and then i like to get these frozen danica loves these uh shelled edamame so i get the frozen with this like a dollar 79 can't beat it i also get the organic um corn as well as the organic peas this is perfect for fried rice you just gather up your your rice and some um some eggs um scramble the eggs add these on a little bit of soy sauce then you got yourself um some great uh fried rice and then so we got that we got the i showed you guys that and then for my um coffee our go-to here when we have coffee for as far as sugar is the turbinado rock and sugar jonathan loves this hubby and i love it also with our coffee so we get that and then over here is our marinated artichokes the reason i got these especially these three as i was saying with my um with my costco haul is that all you need with um like simple great meal is like these type of sandwich rolls then you have the luncheon meat this is the seasoned roast beef luncheon meat 
and then you add the sun-dried tomato, you've got artichoke, you've got bell pepper, you've got the cheese. Put it that in there, put it in the oven. Oh my goodness, guys, it's so good. Great meal. Okay. This one is new at um, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Mango and sticky rice spring rolls. I'm like, what? Okay, I gotta try this out. This was only two bucks, so can't wait to try this. Don't know. This is one of my new um, items. Like I said, when I go to Trader Joe's, I pick up one or two of new things. Um, I love to shop at Trader Joe's. Compared to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's has more more bucks for your money kind of thing. It just, it just goes a long way for your money. Um, roasted seaweed snack, I do. Um, I like this and then I put this into as well as like this so if I wanted to add more um, uh, more Asian flair onto my soyo I can cut this up into strips and then add it on top it really adds a lot more flavor um, but also when I make my uh, sushi there's a recipe in here for sushi um, casserole um, I use this for that as well Okay, I have to say that a lot of these meals I don't touch. The, the family likes it, especially like these um, pepperoni, p uh, pizza, mac and cheese. That's hubby's lunch, you know, when he's working from home or he's going to the office. He likes to pack his lunch rather than stepping out and um, buying something. But this is $3, and I have to say, this is a meal in itself. I can't finish this by myself. Sometimes, I, you know, I just share it with hubby. But this is very flavorful for the, the $3 um, that um, it is over at Trader Joe's and so worth it. So got that. Like I said, um, our go-to. Okay, as far as frozen areas, this is our go-to. You guys have seen this before. Okay, I, I just stock up the freezer with these. It's perfect for the kids. Okay, mac and cheese bowl. This one is pepperoni pizza, regular mac and cheese. And the kids love these type of mac and cheese um, from, from Trader, jo or Trader Joe's. Okay, so our go-to is linguine with clam sauce. I just sprinkle this with even just um, um, lemon, lemon, um, lemon or lime. Um, just sprinkle that and it adds a lot of flavor to it. This one added um, onto spaghetti. It's a perfect... Um, meal and then with the sauce there you go and then the noodles you're good to go i like these actually over at mandarin orange uh, mandarin orange chicken over at trader joe's with the rice and then sriracha on top mm -mm -mm. danielle loves to uh, make this and pack it for lunch again she can um, add some of the rotisserie chicken onto this and then a perfect meal this is just two dollars 2.29 i think and also the girls love it when i um get the juice over Trader Joe's. So I don't like the pineapple juice so much in a can. I've gone through many grocery stores and I can't seem to find plain pineapple juice just by itself into um, in a container such as this. It's always mixed with something like this one, orange, strawberry, banana. So this is why I always get it at Trader Joe's. So that one and um, that one's perfect for like breakfast and stuff. So organic black beans over at Trader Joe's. Um, my hubby's go-to salsa is the salsa. This one has a bit of a, um, like a roasted flavor to it. And then caramelized onion dip. And the reason I got this is um, because before I used to buy the Ritz crackers. And to be honest, I didn't care so much for it, giving it to the uh, kids, especially to little Danica, because I know how salty it was. And then also when you ate into the Ritz crackers, it's like you need water or you need some sort of liquid right away. Well, this is not um, like that at all. This is the 12 grain mini snack crackers at um, Trader Joe's. And this is perfect for the salsa or the... Um, the dip, this is caramelized onion dip, and then um, I, I can tell that this is not as salty as the one from, uh, from Ritz Crackers. And then you guys know I used to buy this a lot and show you, but we, I haven't been showing this to you because we bought the soda stream, so we've been making our own soda water, and I only have a little bit of flavor of like the grape or the cream soda, but mostly we use it for just sparkling, just plain soda water, and then I add lemon or lime or strawberry, for, you know, um, fruits to it but this one is from Trader Joe's and this one is a new flavor it's called pineapple I saw um, I also saw a new flavor of island colada and then I think it was clementine so they, they're coming out with a lot of new flavors so usually I have um, what do you call that the the hazelnut spread um, that the kids love and I get that at Costco I decided not to get it at Costco because it wasn't on sale but um, 
usually they do have it on sale so i just wait until things are on sale at costco if i don't really need it so bad but this one is the cocoa almond spread and this one is the perfect blend of cocoa and almond butter atop uh on top of toast so almond and uh almond and cocoa wow i haven't tasted this yet never tried it so that's one of the new items over at um, trader joe's that i'm trying out and then um chocolate chips and all this stuff so I got white chocolate, chocolate chips, cookies. Kids love this speckless cookies. It's only $1.99. Figured I'd give it a try. I'm showing you guys this because I got this at Target. I had to buy a present. But this was really cheap, $3. It's supposed to be a, a stand for your um, cookbooks. But I'm going to use it for my iPad. Because when I'm doing, especially when I'm cooking or um, cleaning up the kitchen, um, I need the, the iPad for like the recipes. And I'm always putting it up against something. But... I saw this and I'm like, wow, three bucks. Okay. Hubby, you guys know for as far as his breakfast, he likes, um, he's not one of those heavy meals. He likes to grab one of these. Um, go to is the, is the peanut butter and chocolate. And then this one is just chocolate over at uh, Trader Joe's. I told you guys, I bought this a couple days ago. And, um, and when I buy these, I tend to want to use it right away. So um, I uh, compared it to the ones over there at Costco to where it's like a, a large one too. It's, it's a lot better. So Trader Joe's, this was $2.99. And I actually bought this when I bought that. So these were like the simple stuff that I bought. But I'm showing you guys this because I haven't opened it yet. But I figured I can make peach cobbler pie with this. So I got that for $2.99, really affordable. And then I got these cheese, the triple cream braid cheese. I like these type of, um, type of cheese. But I also got this because of this cracker, actually, um, to, to have along with this cracker for hubby and I and then um, with the salsa. I figured I wanted to give that a try. And then tomatoes, um, sugar plum tomatoes. I like these size compared to the big ones. Easily um, add this onto the pastas for the meals or the salads. Or actually, I, I just rinse it off and then I eat it like candy. So I really like those. But I think that's it, guys. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Such a super long video. Um, as always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo.